guys, family, what's going on? Bunch of Crunch Army. Yo, it's your motivation guy. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to persuade your parents to let you go pro. Now, you know, lots of our viewers told us that they wanna take Fortnite more seriously, but their parents won't let them play as much as they need to, you know, to really improve. You know, not being able to play, it sucks. But the thing is, guys, trying to go pro is a really big deal. And to have a chance at even convincing your parents to let you try, you need to go about it the right way. All right, guys, so one of the biggest reasons why your parents might not want you committing so much time to Fortnite is because they don't really understand esports. I mean, after all, competitive gaming is a relatively new thing, and they might not really understand just how big and mainstream it is. I mean, we've got actual NFL players in their own tournaments now, and the industry as a whole just has so much money behind it, you know, way more than most of us even realize, and it's only going to keep growing from there. To most parents, game are purely time wasters. So the best thing that you can do is present them with as much information about Fortnite esports to legitimize the concept. I mean, this not only shows maturity from you, but it also helps them gain a better grasp as to what it is exactly you're gonna be doing. You know, Ninja has some excellent thoughts on how to do this. So listen to what he has to say. Uh, if you're young and you're trying to convince your parents that you're you know, mature enough or ready to go to these tournaments, this is what you're gonna wanna do. Down. Give them a list of everything that they're gonna need so that they have no questions to ask. You want to know, you want to tell them how the tournament is gonna to be run, double elimination, best out of three, all those kind of, all those scenarios. What game you're gonna be playing, how much, what's the prize pool, first place through the last place payout, how much is entry fee, uh, the dates that tournaments are going to be in, and then you're pretty much gonna to wanna to give them, I mean, if it's, and this is mainly for a major league gaming event, uh, maybe send them a YouTube video or uh, link them to a video that uh, can kind of like sum up the experience of a tournament or an event. Give them the website of the tournament. We'll show, uh, this is at least from personal experience, uh, maturity, uh, responsibility, and um, just pretty much bringing them down to earth to the whole gaming in general. So yeah, I mean, take it from an industry vet like Ninja. You gotta approach your parents with maturity on the subject, guys. You know, the more it seems, you know, you know about what you're talking about, the more convincing you're gonna sound. So show them things like the official website for competitive Fortnite or even footage from previous events. Just whatever you can, just to paint a better picture of how big and legit Fortnite esports actually is. I mean, esports has gotten so big, even colleges and high schools have their own game teams now. Even scholarship opportunities have begun popping up for gaming in the last few years, and the number of schools involved is huge. So far, parents love it too, since you know, you're playing on a school team just like any other sport, right? And in Fortnite, there are tourneys specifically for students like those hosted Play Versus. So this might be available in your area, and if you can sign up, I mean, that might be the ticket that you need to convince your parents that this esports thing is a real deal, man. So showing esports in a positive light to your parents is the first step. Demonstrate to them, you know, what it's about, you know, why you love it, and really just talk about the potential opportunities that you're gonna have if you commit to gaming. Not just earnings from tournaments, but also from YouTube, you know, sponsorships, orgs, and so on. You know, it's also a great idea to, you know, just ask them, you know, to sit down one night and just watch you play in a tournament. You know, that can give them even a better idea of your passion, right? And, and how you're, you know, even more passionate about what you're doing. It's not just a simple game that, you know, requires, you know, just you sitting down. It requires teamwork and decision making and problem solving and so many more skills that non-gamers, you know, simply just don't recognize, right? And if you're really looking to take that next step, guys, you guys got to check out Pro Guys Coaching. I mean, we got a bunch of insane players that you can play with who can help you improve you know your game faster than you can on your own so you know with our new courses from top pros you're gonna get all the advice you need to go on your journey to making it pro so check out the description link click up at the top or visit proguides.com to get started If you have strict parents, it's gonna probably take more than just explaining esports for them to give you more playing time. But the next time <laughs> that you sit down and talk to them, you gotta demonstrate your responsibility in your life outside of Fortnite. Like, answer this right now. Is there anything that you neglect that your parents want you to do? Like your homework every night, getting good grades, a part-time job, house chores, so on. Is there anything you're ignoring that they want you to do? I mean, look at the answers. It's probably yes. So you might be ignoring some of your responsibilities. And you know, while it may suck to, you know, have an hour or two to do homework, I get it. 
before hopping on to grind. I get it. You know, ignoring your responsibilities, it's only gonna convince your parents even more that you're not ready. So you have to prove to them that you care about these really important responsibilities, guys, because before they can just trust you, you gotta spend more time in what they see as a hobby. So what you need to do is propose some agreements to them so that they know that you're willing to take care of business before jumping into the game. For instance, let me tell you this, like tell them you won't game until you're done with your homework every single night or maybe set a grade goal. If you don't get a certain grade on your next report card or exam, then you know, you'll let them take away your system until that you can reach those goals again, right? I, I know, like this is more effort than any of us, you know, want to put in, but with some parents, man, this is what it takes. You need to get your responsibilities over with before you can turn your game on. Like this is real talk, guys. Real grinders will attest to this. Sure, pro players that made it probably don't care about their grades anymore. I get it. But when they were starting out, you know, you can bet that they did what was necessary to show their, their parents they were responsible. So yeah. You guys gotta do your part. You know, do what your parents want first and just see if it's enough for them to get, you know, you the chance to play more. And if you have to make a deal with them to show them that you're serious and, you know, don't break the deal. <laughs> like, even if it means that you have to sacrifice a few things and lose out on sleep or missing out on hangouts or friends, like, you're just gonna show them that you're really serious about it. You know, a lot of pros make sacrifices to get where they are today. And you know, it's part of the grind, man. You're gonna have to commit to really prove yourself. All right, guys, so being responsible is one thing, but at some point, you gotta prove that your decision to go pro wasn't just all for nothing. And that's when actual results are going to matter more than anything. All right, take NRG Clicks, for example. When he was starting out, his parents barely, I mean, barely allowed him to play. Like, back then, my I would have to set a timer of how long I could play. So like, my parents would only let me play an now? hour a day, and they had their own timer that they hit. But the thing was, Clicks knew that he had it in him. He has faith in his own talents, enough to know that he could go big. So what did he do? He went to his dad and he proposed an agreement. Chet, like, how I convinced my dad is, I made, I told him, I'm gonna like, I showed him straight to my face. I told him, I'm gonna make this in two weeks. And if I make this, like, please like consider letting me play more than I, like, more. Afterwards, Click set out to stay true to his agreement. I did wagers and I made, what is it called? Like I said, $1,000 in two weeks. Like, that's actually really good for, like, someone that doesn't play that much. So, I made that and I told my dad, like, I could legit make it in the community if, like, I do this shit. And that success convinced Clicks' dad to allow him to play in the World Cup qualifiers, which is when Clicks won $50,000 in the first week. And since that's just, you know, a crazy ludicrous amount of money, it became clear to his parents that from that point, Fortnite was a realistic career choice for their son. And this is how a ton of pros convinced their parents to let them take Fortnite more seriously. They made some sort of initial earnings, right? And it gave their parents some peace of mind. Essentially, you know, it's the best proof possible that pro gaming is a real career choice. So, you know, while you might not be able just to walk up to your parents and tell them you want 50,000, all right, at least not with today's prize pools, you know, you need to eventually come to them with something, right? And if you don't think that's possible right away, all right, well, set a go with your parents. You know, talk to them. That, you know, if you don't come up with a certain number of earnings by maybe a certain date, you know, you're gonna give up or slow down on the amount of time that you're playing. Some pros actually really did this, like Aiden, for instance. He was at the age where, I mean, he would be going to college or getting a job, but he thought that he was good enough to go pro. So he went to his parents and he asked for a year to prove his worth, which he did like no problem. Now, a year is like way more than most parents would be willing to give their kids, I get it, but even if you get a few months, I mean, that should be enough time to really just show some progress in what you're doing. And assuming, you know, you're actually on a realistic path to really becoming a pro. So sooner or later, guys, is if you're not making money or showing success in other areas, then no, your parents won't want you playing Fortnite for six to eight hours a day. That's just reality. So compete in every, you know, event that you can, you know, grow your social media presence and just see if you can just monetize your skills in other ways, like maybe through YouTube content or even coaching on the side. Yes, there's luck involved, but you know, if you don't show proof of success, most parents will just think you're just chasing an endless pipe dream. I've been there. 
I understand. So if you want to persuade your parents to let you go pro in Fortnite, you need to explain esports to them. Be responsible and eventually present some earnings or some other proof that it could be worth your while. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, when your parents ask you to spend more time studying or, you know, maybe even doing homework, they're just looking out for you. Like, they love you guys, you know, and they just want the best for your future. And when you're young, you know, you have all sorts of dreams. Not that that's a bad thing. You want to go after your dreams, but esports is just such a new field. Your parents might not really understand or recognize that as a real career choice which in all honesty is might not you know it might not be up for you but for every successful pro out there there are probably a dozen players who put in the same hours but just haven't reached that level where they can really just call themselves pros or successful pros and that doesn't mean that you should give up or never try of course not but these are potentially life-changing decisions we're talking about here. Not everyone is, you know, fortunate enough to be in a position where they can just dedicate months or a year of their life to gaming. And, and that's why it's so essential, guys, that you try to reach your agreements with your parents to really make them happy first with what they want. And then they're going to hopefully allow you to chase your dream of going pro. All right, guys, pro guys, family, bunch of corn charm. If you guys found this video helpful, do not forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment telling us your situations with your parents and, you know, pro gaming. We're really interested to know how many of your parents really support what you do, support your dreams of going pro, compared to how many yet are not convinced. We also love to know if this advice really helped you guys out in today's video. You know, let us know. We're really interested. We support you guys. We support your dreams. So keep going. I'm your motivation guy, and I'll see you soon.